going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Jackie Shea, just in case you're new here. This is kind of a different type of video. I don't usually do stuff like this. And I also apologize. I have my dishwasher and my washing machine going right now. Should be over soon though. So in case you hear some strange noises in the background, that's what it is. I really hope you guys enjoyed the last video of cleaning my coconuts and getting the water out and getting all of this delicious beautiful coconut meat out of my coconuts. I had a lot of fun doing it and I'm gonna work on my machete skills, so don't worry. I'm ready to make some coconut milk today. So it's a really delicious, easy, healthy recipe. Super simple. And we're gonna use this recipe in a future video using some fish that I've caught in previous videos. So lots of delicious recipes coming up, great summer dishes. I'm so excited and it's all gonna be so delicious. I love this fresh coconut meat. So real quick before I get started, I wanted to show you guys the clip of what I did with my coconut water the day that I got it out of the coconuts from the last video. So real quick, I wanna show you that clip and then we'll jump back into the kitchen and I'll get started on the coconut milk recipe. I decided to come inside and strain my coconut water real quick before uh, I put it in the fridge because uh, you only want to leave the coconut water out for no more than three hours or it could go bad. You want to make sure you refrigerate it. I've even heard some people say that you want to freeze it right away for a certain amount of time to preserve it or something like that. I found that I've had mine in the fridge. I strain it, threw it in the fridge immediately and kept it for three days and I drank some this morning. It was delicious. I guess it all depends on how good the water is before you put it in the fridge. So it depends. But I do like to strain it every time just because you can see when you throw it in the jar straight from the coconut, it gets little fragments and you know dirt and some of the pieces of the husk and the shell in there. So it's always a good idea to strain it first. And then even if, when you do strain it, you're still gonna have some sediment in there and some stuff that's gonna be in the coconut water naturally. That's fine. I drank some this morning, it was delicious. I just have a bowl here regular strainer. You can use a finer strainer if you want. And then I'm just going to strain it into this jar. This is going to be a little difficult because it doesn't really fit. Okay. So then you'll see. Zoom in. Can you, can you get in? Of course. So you see all that stuff that uh, came out of the water. So you know, you don't really want to drink that, it's just not pleasant. I'm sure it's edible, and you're not going to die if you eat it, but it's just not pleasant. So then, I will put this, do you think that will fit in this? It looks like too much. Okay. You still so, going? Yeah. So we got this uh, big glass mason jar. Yeah, big glass mason jar here. And I'm just going to pour it. Oh shit, that doesn't pour very well. You have to go real slow. Okay. So that is from what? How many coconuts did I open? Three or four? Mm hmm. So that's delicious. Good stuff right there. And I'm going to put the lid on this and refrigerate it. And I prefer it nice and chilly. So in a couple hours, we'll come and get a drink after we go hang out outside by the pool. It's the perfect summer drink, coconut water. I love it. Just gonna throw this in the fridge. And then I'll show you how I make coconut milk next. Okay. That is basically what you do with the coconut water right after you harvest it out of your coconuts. And here it is in this beautiful jar. It is. It is delicious. I've had it refrigerated now. This is the second day. You're gonna need it for your coconut milk recipe. One way to tell if the water has gone bad is you smell it, you know, so. Oh my gosh. I had a whole jar of this actually. And I drank it all in like, what's it is? Three days. I drank a whole like thing of coconut water like this. It's so delicious. Oh my gosh. For the coconut milk. This is what you're gonna need. It's really simple. All you need for the ingredients is coconut meat, coconut water, and then if you got really thirsty and you drank all of your coconut water, it's okay. You can use regular water, no big deal. But I just think it, it adds to the flavor 
of the coconut milk. So if you use, if you keep the coconut flavor going throughout, it tastes a little bit better in my opinion. And then you're gonna need some type of blender or food processor because you're gonna have to blend the coconut meat. And then a bowl to drain all your coconut milk in. And then very important is a nut milk bag. It's very similar to cheesecloth. Cheesecloth will work just fine for this too. But uh, nut milk bags have become really popular. You can find them at almost any grocery store, health food store, cooking store. Um, they're really, really popular now. I, I found them at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and Whole Foods. I got mine at Whole Foods, so this is what it looks like. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, right here. So this is what it looks like. Nut milk bag. So people use these nut milk bags a lot for making like almond milk, you know, cashew milk, all kinds of stuff like that, but it works great for the coconut milk too. So first you're gonna put all your coconut meat into your blender, really easy. Um, break it up a little bit because I don't have the strongest blender it's this Nutribullet right here. If you have like a really good Vitamix or um, you know something like that, you could probably just put the whole pieces of meat in there and it won't be a problem. Um, I also cleaned my meat a little bit. I cleaned it because it had some dirt on it. I don't really want all that dirt in my coconut mixture. It's beautiful, beautiful coconut meat. It's so white and pretty. All right, so I'm gonna fill it up about that much. I don't wanna overwhelm my blender. Oh, also I have got a spatula just in case I need to scoop the blended meat out into the nut bag. It's optional, you can use a spoon or your hand or whatever. So I have all the coconut meat in the blender. Oh, the coconut water. So then you just pour like a splash of coconut water in there just to help it blend and for flavor. There, like that. Now I can blend it. Okay. should look kind of like that. That looks beautiful. So now all I'm gonna do is dump it into the nut milk bag or the cheesecloth or whatever you have. Okay. And wring it out. Actually, this is really cool. Let me move the camera so you can see what I'm doing in this bowl here. So I hope you can see this better. This should be really pretty. Look at this. You can already see it dripping out into the bottom here. Just rig it out. My arm here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This is just the best, you know? This is gonna be great in like a coconut curry, coconut, like Thai coconut fish stew. So, after you're done, it's gonna be pretty dried out. You're gonna do it one more time in the blender. Set that aside. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And there it is, that's it. Okay, so you guys saw how easy that was. That was, that's it, that's all you gotta do is just add the coconut water, blend the meat in the coconut water, put it in the nut milk bag, strain it, and that's your milk right there. So I'm gonna do this uh, probably one more time. I'll add a little bit more coconut water, blend it again, squeeze just a little bit more juice out, because there, you know, you can do it multiple times to get more milk out of it, and then, I'm gonna do the rest of this meat right here, so I'm gonna have a ton of coconut milk. I'm gonna give some to my mom, my sister, 
they're really excited that I'm doing this because they love coconut milk too. And also with the coconut milk, you can make coconut oil, which is going to be my next project. So. so many different things which I will be showing in a future video I'm going to be doing a delicious coconut milk recipe with fish I'm so excited just thinking about it and um, I got a lot of more work to do I've got just a few more uh, pieces of meat right here I'm going to continue making my coconut milk as you can tell it's pretty messy it's a lot of fun though it's really cool to make your own coconut milk I love it if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button it really supports my channel hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell notification if you want to be notified of when I have a new video and thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your support and love on all my videos I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video